so far, but what specifically didn't work offensively for you guys to You know, I didn't think we settled in offensively. We didn't execute well, um, and that's on me. Um, you know, we talked about taking the ball side to side, uh, getting a reversal. Our shot selection was very important today. Um, didn't do a good job on that, and that's on me. Coach, you had 28 missed layups tonight. Are you content with your performance in the paint? You just said we had 28 missed layups, so yes. we can't we can't be content with that. We can't be excited if we, we had 28 missed layups. So uh, that's fundamentals of the game. We got to get in there and miss layups. We want to attack the paint. We got to be able to finish uh, through contact, something that we work on in practice. So uh, a mix of focus and we just got to be able to finish with contact. But no, no one would be excited without for 28 missed layups. Uh, you win with layups, free throws, and good defense. How long did you all know that Maddie would be out tonight and you anticipated her back soon? Well, she's day-to-day -day right now. Our medical team will continue to evaluate her. Obviously, we missed having her um, on the floor, but the most important thing is for her to uh, get healthy. We have an unbelievable medical staff, and um, we hope for her return soon. What were the biggest adjustments you think you had to make on the floor with her? Well, one, she brings us a calmness on the floor as a veteran experience, knowing what we're looking for, the nuances of, of the offense, um, and her ability to score at all three levels. Um, and she understands how to make plays defensively. So she was a big piece that we actually um, missed tonight. However, we always say next man up, we need to step up, everybody star in their role. But the bottom line is we just didn't get the job done tonight. And we go back to work. Sarah, it seemed like you had a lot of togetherness that fourth quarter. looked like a flip switch just as a bystander. What did you sense from the girls tonight? Their emotion was very palpable. I mean, it looked like they were really driving. They got within six points, a couple points in the game. Yeah, I thought we made a run. Um, and so it wasn't like we quit. I just didn't, we didn't start out the gates with the intensity in which we needed to play for 40 minutes. Um, and it cost us tonight. Coach, one of the standout players was Sonia Tyler. She made, I think, three threes there in the second quarter and looked really good. Um, what do you have to say about her growth since joining this team and her role going forward? Yeah, you know, Sonia's really growing um, in her role. Her ability to score is what we need. She can score at all three levels. Um, she's going to give us some defensive intensity, um, but we need her to score. So her to step up and make those big shots when we needed it, I thought she steadied us early, and we'll need more of that. You hear coaches say sometimes they're going to burn the tape and just on to the next one. Is this one where you burn the tape, or is there something you can take from this? Well, every game you can take something. Uh, we won't burn it. We're going to go back and learn from it. Um, obviously not how we wanted uh, to show tonight, but you got to learn from it. You either um, learn and grow, or you stay where you are. We can't afford to stay where we are. So we'll, we'll use this tape, um, learn, and we'll be better because of it. Thanks, Coach. Okay. Okay. You kind of already said it right there. I'm sure you said something like that similar um, in the locker room. But what did you, what did you say you rolled up for this one? Just kind of keep their heads up. Well, you know, we just said, you know, we got to protect home. And 40 minutes, we have to be locked in and ready to go with the type of intensity. Um, every game is a big game. And we got to play every possession like it matters. And we didn't do that tonight. And we'll go back to work. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, guys. We'll bring in Asia Petty next. Anybody, any day can beat anybody. So just coming in and playing hard on the tip. And it start even before the tip, like the mindset. In terms of defensive adjustments, you know, tr trying to hold Austin T, they shot 53% from the field. But what was difficult about uh, keeping up with them throughout the game tonight? Um, I think they did a good job at coming in and being aggressive from the tip. But I also think we could have controlled a lot more than what we did, um, just locking in more to the, to the scout. 
and just hanging our heads on defense, just wanting to, just having that mindset that this person's not going to score. You know, it was tough at the end of the fourth quarter. You know, you guys keep going back and forth, making baskets, trying to come uh, within, uh, trying to win the game. Um, how would you describe how you're feeling during this time? Is it like, how intense would you describe it? Um, I feel like that's an opportunity. Like I said, well, we was in the huddle and I, I was just telling the team, this is an opportunity. This is uh, where you could just see all the hard work that you put in and see what you can get out of it. So I don't really think this is just like, just take it as a loss. Yeah, it's a loss in the column, but like we're going to go back, take what, what we made mistakes on and learn from it. You still had 19 points today, despite being double teamed for the majority of the time under the basket which is going to become more apparent as you get into conference play. So how are you going to adjust to that, and how should the team adjust to that? I think, like Coach said, just continuing to um, find my open shooters because I have a lot of great guards on this team that can also score the ball. So when I'm getting double, just making that read better to uh, kick it out to them. But also just continuing to stay in the paint and doing my work early. That way I can score easily. How do you, if at all, y'all play different without Maddie? Uh, Maddie is a veteran. So she she's a scorer. She has a great IQ. She's she's just a great leader all around. So I think we just um, missed her in that kind of aspect today. But like who said, next man up. And I think a lot of people stepped up today, even though she was out. Who stepped up? Yeah. So Naya, Naya Russell, they they all stepped up today. What about Amina? She made some pretty critical baskets, right? Yeah, Mimi. She's always she always working hard. As a team, how do you guys flush this one and reset and on to the next? I think um, not immediately flushing it. I think just letting it kind of simmer that we did lose. I think the biggest thing is not to just stay down. Um, just know how it feels so we can know we don't want to feel that way again. Going back, um, looking at film, watching what we need to improve on, getting back in practice, working hard, and forgetting and getting ready for the next game. First true road game on Sunday, you guys you know, going down to Florida. What's the mentality for that one? Obviously, you played them last year. The mentality is just to go in, start from the tip, and play our best. Thanks, Asia. Thanks, guys.